So I realized this week I really haven't made any new videos. I haven't, that's because it's been tax week and it's been very, very busy because of tax week. So next week you guys can expect videos. Everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff. And today is more like a vloggy type video where I've really been trying to discover what unit I should get for myself. Nintendo 3DS XL, maybe the regular size Nintendo 3DS, new 3DS, or if I should get something like a Game Boy Advance SP. See, I'm really like a Nintendo person and I want to go into gaming, doing a lot more gaming stuff. I need more of a designated unit. I don't really care for emulators on my smartphone. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? What is the best unit to you guys? I would want the SP because I care for a lot of Game Boy type titles, a lot of older type titles and ports, where the eShop should have a lot of them for me on something like the 3DS XL or the smaller unit. I don't know, I'm just having a hard time deciding. By the way, if I get myself the SP, this is definitely the color I'm going for. This awesome orange one. Of course, it has to be a custom build with the AGS 101 brighter display. So we are at Target right now, and there's a gaggle of the red ones, which is good for me because this is the one that I like. Plus, it's on sale, $174.99. I really don't know if I want the smaller one though, and the thing is I can't find it in stock anywhere. It makes me want it. So I ended up finding myself at Target and I picked up the 3DS XL. This is the red one that I want to try out for now. This was on sale for $174.99 instead of $200 at Best Buy. So that's why I got this guy. Of course, I'm still very interested in the Game Boy Advance SP. I really don't know which one to go for at this point. If I don't end up liking this, I'll probably give it to my husband. He's been wanting to upgrade his original 3DS XL. And of course, I'm aware that the NX is supposed to come out sometime, but we don't know what that hardware entails. And Nintendo hardware really holds up over time, so I can't say that I would regret buying this. So this is my 3DS original. I really didn't like it. It's kind of shoddy. It didn't have many points of articulation for the display and just felt kind of wobbly and cheap. and didn't work really well for the 3D. Now this new one has cameras that track your eyes, so really curious to test that out. Also, I found this display to be really quite small. Even the new 3DS, not the XL version, but just the 3DS version, which by the way, I cannot find anywhere, had a bit bigger display than this. Who knows, if I was able to find the regular sized one, I probably would have gotten it, but the bundles are sold out everywhere. Everywhere, it's unbelievable. They were limited edition, I believe, though. So let's open the box. There is no adapter with this, I understand, but I should have an adapter somewhere. So. Ooh. I really like that finish. You can see there how it's got these nice lines in it. Quite big for my littleness, but what I'm looking for is an immersive experience. This is what I'm used to rocking, but honestly didn't play this all too much because I didn't like the quality, it just felt really cheap to me. And I'm hearing that this has two different displays. Some of them are just regular old TN panels and some of them are IPS displays. I hope this is an IPS display. So we've got a place to turn it on right here. This tells you whether it's plugged in, Wi-Fi, Place for the stylus, place for the headphone jack, place for cartridges. Here you have your volume slider. Here you have the place to turn 3D on and off. Place for the speakers. So Nintendo Fair. I really did not like these buttons here on mine that you could push inward. They just felt like they might crack over time. But you can see how it differs from the very first generation. You've got buttons down at the bottom and only a single home button down here. Interesting. I'm really gonna have to play with this, but it feels nice. It feels sturdy. Already I can see that I'm gonna have a much happier time with more points of articulation here. As far as the smaller unit, I really did not like the white color, even though you could change out those face plates. Already at this point, I would say that this is not an IPS display. This looks like a non-IPS model. 
One thing I'm noticing here is that the build on this doesn't look so nice, the build quality. Maybe this is just my unit. You can see how there are edges that kind of stick upward. Same thing for the holes here. They don't feel seamless to me. Kind of feels a bit cheapy plasticky. Whereas on my husband's model right here, this is the first one, that looks really nice and smooth. Everything looks really good and premium on this. So, eh, I'm, there's differences in build quality and everything. Also see a dead pixel on my display. On the back here, you've got an extra pair of buttons. The SD card is now underneath the back cover where you can see also this back cover wraps around the whole bottom here and here and on this one here. It's kind of like a plate that stops. Different location for the cartridge slot. Yeah, you can see they've moved some things here and there. I'm also hearing that the cameras on this model are better than on the older ones. That is if you want to use the augmented reality function. It helps to have cameras that are a little bit better in low lighting, or at least indoor lighting, so that you can use that augmented reality function to use your little target cards. Where are those? What else is in this box? Here's this packet, the AR cards and manual. I have to say that the 3D effect actually works pretty well with this camera watching me. I don't have to find that sweet spot anymore, which is really nice. I didn't use the 3D function all too much on the regular 3DS, so I'll see how I feel about that. But this is watching you all the time. It's a little creepy, right? Talk about Big Brother. I'm already very happy to see that this is much quicker than my old 3DS. This one would take a while to do just about anything, to load anything. It makes all the difference when you have a nice and snappy system. So this has kind of been like a pseudo unboxing weird episode showing what I do in my daily life in terms of trying to try out tech and stuff. That's not something I usually get a chance to do. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about these. Like, which one is the best? Which one did you like better? The old 3DS XL? The new one? Do you like the smaller version of this and why? I was a little bit miffed how the United States only gets a white version and not a black one of the smaller unit. Or maybe it's worth it to just simply get a Game Boy and cartridges. I don't know. I really have been so out of the loop with gaming. Yes, I have this, but I really have not played it much. Please, you guys, let me know of your experiences. Let me know what you think about the NX is coming out. Tell me about the speculations. Tell me what you want to see. Your hopes and dreams. I know that I'm going to go sit on the couch now and play some Ocarina of Time. So that's, that's what I'm going to do tonight. So videos will resume next week. It's been a really crazy week. Like I mentioned, it's been tax week, and that's just insane when you have a home business. So... Very, very fun. Fun, fun times. Took all my time this week. Thanks a lot, IRS. So this has been Erica the Technology Nerd. Likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you like these vloggy type videos. More of a loose form. And I'll see you soon.